Logan's Alley, brought to you by Bushnell. The number one laser range finder on tour. If you're like me, you probably watched a lot of the Summer Olympics in Rio, and if you're like me, you are probably really taken by the sports that you normally don't get to watch. I was particularly enthralled with the men's pole vault in which a local Brazilian had the jump of his life to win the gold medal and knock off the defending champion from France. It was phenomenal theater. But if I was so inspired by that pole vault that I wanted to give that sport a try, where exactly would I go? Or where would I go to try javelin or discus or shot put or sailing? Yeah, there are places to go, I'm sure, but it would take some research because there's not exactly a multitude of pole vault clubs in and around the city. But if there is someone who had never watched golf before or never played golf before, who were really taken by Justin Rose or Brooke Henderson and wanted to give that sport a try, there are avenues in which to do so. There's municipal clubs in most big cities that are very affordable. There's public courses in and around small towns. There's driving ranges where you can go and get a bucket of balls and rent a club for like 12 bucks. Golf gets this rap of being very inaccessible and sure at the very highest levels most of us are priced out. It's actually among the most accessible Olympic sports for newcomers who want to give it a try. Now whether or not they'll stick with the game we don't know but this notion that it's impossible for them to get their foot in the door, that's just plain wrong.